Graham's outburst at Hassan prompted Sen. Chris Murphy D. Cobb to sternly remind the South Carolina senator not to impugn the motives of a fellow senator. Murphy reminded Graham and all senators not to impute to another senator or other senators any conduct or motive unworthy or unbecoming of a senator. The admonishment came after Graham slammed Hassan, who faces a competitive re-election race this November, for proposing an alternative to his amendment to strike a 16. 4 cent a barrel tax on imported petroleum products and foreign oil refined in the United States. They wouldn't let you do this in professional wrestling. If you think people are this dumb, you're going to be sadly mistaken, Graham fumed on the floor. Graham warned Democrats on Friday the debate and vote a on the budget reconciliation would be, hell. Graham accused his colleagues Sunday morning of fake theatrics after Hassan urged colleagues to vote for what she called her own amendment to strike the surcharge on barrels of oil, something she proposed moments after voting against Graham's amendment to repeal the surcharge. The key difference was that Graham's amendment was set at a 50-vote threshold and had a chance of passing if one Democrat voted, yes, while Hassan's amendment had to overcome a 60-vote threshold and therefore had no chance of becoming part of the bill without 10 Republican votes. What she's doing is trying to strike the provision that she just voted against but it requires 60 votes, so she can't vote for repealing a gas tax she just voted against repealing. Graham declared, accusing Hassan of trying to look good for the voters. What you're doing is deceitful. It's dishonest. And we're going to call you out, Graham bowed. That direct attack prompted Murphy to step in. The senator are reminded to address each other through the chair and in the third person, he said. Senators are reminded to address all remarks through the chair in the third person and to be mindful of Rule 19, he said. Murphy is the presiding officer at the time of the heated exchange could have ordered Graham to take his seat. UN chief criticizes, suicidal, attacks on Ukraine nuclear plant Manafort says he's, always had the right motives the Senate's Rule 19 allows the presiding officer to, call to order, a senator who directly attacks or insults a fellow senator. If such a formal rebuke is made, the offending senator's words will be read aloud to the Senate and the presiding chairperson can order the senator to sit down and be quiet. Graham settled down after Murphy's warning. Tags Chris Murphy Lindsey Graham Maggie Hassan share tweet. More around the web sponsored by RevContent Fighting Diabetes. This discovery leaves doctors speechless. Healthier living this is what happens if you wash your hair with Coca-Cola. INSPIREDOT who are you? Your fingers will tell the truth. INSPIREDOT removing moles and skin tags has never been this easy daily healthy living tips MD. Do this immediately if you have diabetes watch daily healthy living tips the close relationship between stress and sleep go daddy stop paying too much for your prescriptions compare prices find free coupons g-o-o-d-r-x standing with the people of ukraine r-e-b-c-o-n-t-e-n-t -E -E did your mom ever make the paper search newspapers com news com get mortgage advice close to home rocket mortgage load more more senate news five takeaways on a super august sunday for senate democrats senate five hours ago trump says mcconnell got played like a fiddle on democrats spending bill senate 13 hours ago these seven gop senators voted to keep 35 dollars insulin cap in reconciliation bill senate 14 hours ago harris moves within six tie breaking votes of nearly 200 year old record senate 14 hours ago see all video hill TV Paul on Veterans Bill, it's not always easy to make these judgments the Hill TV, three days ago rising, August 3, 2022 rising, five days ago rising, August 2, 2022 rising, six days ago see all Hill. TV see all video top stories five takeaways on a super August Sunday for Senate Democrats Senate five hours ago the Hill's morning report. Biden hails Democrats big Senate win, House next morning report three hours ago Democrats see new signs of hope ahead of midterms campaign five hours ago see all most popular seven Dems vote for GOP. Graham warned to follow decorum rule. McConnell gets win on Trump in NATO. Five takeaways on a super August. DeSantis is, scarier, opponent. Video watch live. CPAC Day 3 in Texas Video Watch Live, Kareem Jean-Pierre Holds Press Briefing Video Watch Live, Biden Delivers Remarks at Virtual Event with Michigan Gov. Whitmer Video Watch Live, Harris Delivers Remarks on Climate Resilience Video Watch Live, Kareem Jean-Pierre Holds Press Briefing Video See All Video Don't Miss a Brief. 
Sign up for our daily email. Your email. Com resources The Hill Apps People RSS Other Areas Galleries The Hill Jobs National Jobs Contributors Submit Opinion Content Follow us on Get the App Get the Android App from Google Play Get the Android App from Google Play Get the iOS App from App Store Get the iOS App from App Store Do not sell my personal information Subscriptions Privacy Policy Terms and Conditions Contact Advertise Subscribe to Push Notifications News Nation B-E-S-T-R-E-B-I-E-W-S Nextar Digital The Hill 1625 K Street North Northwest Suite 900 Washington DC 2000620262885080 telephone 2026288503 fax copyright 1998-2022 next art inc all rights re they wouldn't let you do this in professional wrestling if you think people are this dumb you're going to be sadly mistaken graham fumed on the floor graham warned democrats on friday the debate and vote rama on the budget reconciliation would be hell Graham accused his colleague Sunday morning of fake theatrics tricks after Hassan urged colleagues to vote for what she called her own amendment to strike the surcharge on barrels of oil, something she proposed moments after voting against Graham's amendment to repeal the surcharge. The key difference was that Graham's amendment was set at a 50-vote threshold and had a chance of passing if one Democrat voted, yes, while Hassan's amendment had to overcome a 60-vote threshold and therefore had no chance of becoming part of the bill without 10 Republican votes. What she's doing is trying to strike the provision that she just voted against but it requires 60 votes, so she can't vote for repealing a gas tax she just voted against repealing. Graham declared, accusing Hassan of trying to look good for the voters. What you're doing is deceitful. It's dishonest. And we're going to call you out, Graham vowed. That direct attack prompted Murphy to step in. The senator are reminded to address each other through the chair and in the third person, he said. Senators are reminded to address all remarks through the chair in the third person and to be mindful of Rule 19, he said. Murphy as the presiding officer at the time of the heated exchange could have ordered Graham to take his seat. The Senate's Rule 19 allows the presiding officer to call to order a senator who directly attacks or insults a fellow senator. If such a formal rebuke is made, the offending senator's words will be read aloud to the Senate and the presiding chairperson can order the senator to sit down and be quiet. Graham settled down after Murphy's warning.